So Sadici is building a platform to help organizations manage digital identity information. We've created a cryptographic technology that allows information to be matched without it being shared. So organizations can comply with uh, privacy regulations like the GDPR uh, or banking secrecy, where uh, it restricts the ability to actually move data. So you don't need to move the data, but you can still compare things. Um, we think this is going to be really, really important for the future of collaborative banking, where banks in particular have to work together, um, but they can't share the information that they have. So today we're, we're here at FinTech Talents, and the product that we're showing is a new one we've just released called Prexa. Um, it is for uh, the pre-execution alerting for um, anti-money laundering and fraud transaction monitoring. And essentially what it does is it allows um, banks or other financial institutions, payments processors, to collaboratively assess risk um, by where, where both of them can contribute data to the calculation of a risk score without either side seeing what the other side provides. So everything stays private to the organization that holds it, um, it completely confidential, but we get a collaborative result where I'm able to see essentially um, what the risk of both sides of the transaction is uh, as compared to just one side of the transaction today. So we've, we've had a fantastic uh, period over the last six weeks. Um, so we've had a number of announcements where uh, we've been working with um, a number of security providers, Kaspersky for example, uh, in the CIS countries have selected us to work with them. Um, we were in South Africa recently where we were a finalist um, at the South African Reserve Bank uh, Accelerator where we demonstrated uh, Prexa, the product, it was really well received and I think um, the South African Reserve Bank is going to be um, engaging in a proof of concept with us. Um, and there's been a number of other um, awards that we've won over the last uh, period of time as well. So overall it's been really, really good. Probably one more that I should mention is um, UBS, the Swiss bank. Uh, so we will be working with them in, in uh, Singapore. Um, again, helping with collaborative uh, KYC where they have information they cannot share, but they need to be able to verify with other, other banks in the country, for example. But I think we've, we've gone through a very interesting phase where blockchain has gone through this hype cycle of blockchain is going to solve every problem on the planet. Um, and we're now moving, I think, from blockchain being the, the great solution to artificial intelligence. Um, and at the moment, uh, organizations who have AI-based solutions or use AI in some way um, are going to be very, very interesting because AI is able to make sense of lots of data. Um, and if you've got really good data, you can make really good decisions if you are able to layer on top of that um, some very clever uh, artificial intelligence solutions. So in our product, we are using the data that both banks or payments processors have in order to make um, intelligent decisions as to where risk uh, potentially lies. So it's a combination of uh, good data, uh, intelligent algorithms, um, and advanced cryptography in order to make sure that you don't break any laws in, in doing what you do. So uh, I think AI is going to be really a buzzword over the next 12 months.